We are Israel United in Christ. We are to teach the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who you are according to the Bible. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. You Hispanics, you think you here? You think you you think you Hispanic and Mexican? No. You are from the tribes of Israel. Your God is the God of Israel. Your father is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You've been destroyed for the for the, for the lack of knowledge. Our people are jacked up these last days, but the prophets are here to bring the understanding back to the people and bring you back to your God to repent. Give me that, Hosea 4 and 6. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Who is God's people, my brother? We don't know that the black and Hispanic man and woman are the 12 tribes of Israel. Give me 2 Chronicles chapter 6 and 6. Who is God's people? Because America, the world say, everybody God people. All you got to do is open the Bible and say, I'm a Christian. But the Bible is, it, the Bible tells you who is, God, who is God's people. It's not all nations. It's you black man, Hispanic man, Native American Indian man. I know you tap on your car saying, God, we trust. Why don't you pull over here, brother, and talk to us for a second. Don't chuck the deuce at me. Read who God's people is. Come on. Second Chronicles chapter 6. Verse 6, but I have chosen Jerusalem that my name might be there and have chosen David to be over my people Israel. He said to be over what? My people Israel. So guess what? You black man and black woman, black, I mean Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, you are the 12 tribes of Israel. Go back to Hosea 4 and 6, but you don't know it because we've been destroyed. How we've been destroyed? We're going to get it. Slavery, colonialism. That's how we've been destroyed. Apartheid. Or Jim Crow. That's how we've been destroyed. Well, that's how we've been destroyed. Because why? Because we broke the commandments of God. Watch this here. Read. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. How are, our people, how are we destroyed? What happened to us? Give me Jeremiah. I mean uh, Isaiah 513. What happened to us? We're going to get the knowledge. But how are we destroyed? We looking at our people right now in the dead estate. We on drugs, we don't even know what we are. We don't know how to raise a family. We don't know whether when the truth is coming out on the corner right here. We don't know it because we stay far away. We are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. I'm gonna show you something, read on. Isaiah chapter five, verse 13. Therefore, my people are going into captivity. We went into captivity, slavery, why, come on? Because. They have no knowledge. What is the knowledge that our people don't have? Hold that. Give me Malachi chapter 2 and 7. We're going to come back here. He said, my people are going into captivity. Slavery is another word for captivity. Having to have a, uh, what is that? A, a driver's license to ride on the ground that the Hispanics rule. That's captivity. Having to pay rent. That's captivity. That's slavery and colonialism because we have no knowledge. My sister, how you doing? How you doing, sis? You got time? You got time to stand right here and talk to me? What's your nationality? The, the Bible says we are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What's your nationality? You see yourself here on the side? Where you see yourself, sis? Yeah, a uh, Mexican? Yeah, yeah. Where you see yourself at? Cuba, Puerto Rico. Which one? Where you at? According to your father. Mexican, look at way at the bottom. What is next on the side of it says Issachar? Yes. Issachar. Mexican was put on our people. We use that as a byword. We are the 12 tribes. Your, your people was here first, right? So they was here first, right? So how come you are called an illegal alien in your own land? Illegal huh? Don't, the white man, they call you illegal aliens, right? But this was your land first, right? All right, I'm going to show you something. Stay right there. Don't go nowhere, okay? You are an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Issachar. You know, what, what's the, um, what's the uh, symbol of uh, Mexican? Is it the, the, the donkey? The barrio? It's not that? You sure? I see a lot of that. Oh, you came when you was nine years old. Okay, okay. But you do know a little about the history about this being your land, right? Okay, so watch this. Do you buy your, this your land? Why do you think you have to buy the water you stay? Why do you think you have to go to work? All oh, your people have to go to work. But this is your land. I see a lot of Mexicans at Home Depot working, but this they land, right? This was your land first. Texas, Mexico, California, right? So watch this, I'm gonna show you. Read that again. 
Okay. Uh, 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 go, go back to uh, Hosea 4 and 6. I'm going to show you what happened and I'm going to give you a little history, okay? I'm going to show you in the Bible. You are in the Bible. Yeah. Don't go nowhere. Watch. Read. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Huh? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So we, our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. How are we destroyed? You see these right here? This is what happened to the so-called Mexicans and the so-called Native American Indians and the so-called blacks. But we're talking about child. This is what happened. Christopher Columbus, you know him? Hernan Cortez, you know him? Right, you got the history on that. It's in the books, but do you know it's in the Bible? Your history is in the Bible. It said, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You don't know you're an Israelite. We don't know that we're God's people. You don't know that Jesus Christ only died for you. Watch this, come on. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. What is the knowledge that we are destroyed from in our mind? We forgot. Watch this, Malachi chapter two and seven. Don't lose it, we want Malachi. This is what we destroy for that. I'm gonna show you your history in the Bible. Watch, come on. Malachi chapter two, verse seven. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Who is your priest today? That's the pastors right at the church. They say, give me the money. They, they, they dance and jig, but they not teaching you. It says they lips, what should come out their mouth is knowledge. Come on. And they should seek the law. The they is you. The they is the people you see walking around. The they is the 12 tribes of Israel. They should seek what? They should seek the law. The law, come on. At his mouth. What is coming out of his mouth? Read it again. Verse seven. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest should teach you knowledge. Knowledge is power, right? That's what they say in America. Power to understand who your power is and what's your duty in the, on the earth. Read on. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So we're destroyed because we don't know the laws of God. We don't know. I, we don't know better, but guess what? What's your name, sis? Aria? Yes. Maria, I'm, my name's Officer Joshua. Good to meet you. We're gonna show you better. We're gonna help you to know better. So uh, go to go to Lamentations five and one. I made a statement, right? Your history is in the Bible. The so-called Mexicans own all the land, but guess what? They gotta work hard. They gotta work hard. And guess guess what the white man do to pay them back? Set up a border wall, block all the illegal aliens out. That's what they do. I know because I see it. And that's my people. Guess what else they do? They put the, the little Hispanic children in concentration camps. Let's call it like it is. No mercy. And they send the children everywhere else. Send them over here. Is that in the Bible? I'm going to show you it's in the Bible. Watch this here. Watch. Lamentations 5 and 1. Read what you got. Lamentations chapter 5 verse 1. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Why? He said, remember, O Lord, what it's come or what has happened to us, Sister Maria. Come on. Consider and behold our reproach. Reproach is hate. Consider and behold our hate. Well, because what is the so-called Mexican called? Illegal aliens, rapists, right along the blacks, right along with us. But yeah, I know you like, because guess what? That's what we suffer. We're the same exact people. Watch, come on. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. What is the inheritance that the Mexicans had over here? The, the land, right? That's an inheritance from God to you. He gave you America, Central America, South America, North America. That was an inheritance for you to keep the commandments. Come on. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. It's turned to who? To strangers. So I'm going to let you, Sister Maria, who is this, Who are these men here holding these men in captive? Who is this? That's soldiers, right? What are they called? Who were they called? Spaniards, but they was called conquistadors, right? Conquistadors, the conquerors. That's what they called. Who did they conquer? They conquered the northern kingdom of Israel. You are of the 12 tribes of Israel, but you've been destroyed through what? Slavery, through religion. This is what happened to us. All this here happened to you. Right, all, and this, in the, this, in the, and, and this is in all the history books. Guess what the best book we're going to read? We're going to read your history right here. Come on. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. So God calls the white man strangers. Come on. Our houses to aliens. To who? 
to alien. So the Bible said, guess who? Guess what the white man is? He's the illegal alien. He came over here illegally and manifest destiny to white man Jesus. Yes. Right. That's what they did. They said, you know what? I know them, the Israelites. Let's go conquer them because they're not keeping the commandments of God. Now we got them. Come on. Verse 3. We are orphans and fatherless. How are you orphans and fathers? They, first off, it's too many. They slaughtered the, the, uh, the, the men here, the warriors, the priests here. But guess what? They said, guess what? Y'all don't got a God. Your God has left you. You are fatherless. Who is our father? Our father is the most high God. Come on. Our mothers are widows. Why is the mother widow? Because they came here. They said, peace. We're going to come here for peace. Let's hold a Thanksgiving parade. Let's do all this good stuff. But they didn't have peace in their heart. They wanted to destroy you. Come on. Verse 4. We have drunken our water for money. We did what? We have drunken our water for money. So this land belonged to you. All the streams, the rivers, the oceans. The lakes, the ponds, it all belonged to you. But now you have to drink it for money. Prime example, what's that store right there called? Sister Maria. Walgreens. This is America. This was the so-called Hispanic and Native American land. How come they put a Walgreens there for you to go buy water? And this is your land. What happens when you try to catch rainwater? You'll be taxed and go to jail. This is your land. Come on. Our wood is sold unto us. So guess what? When you have to build houses, I see a lot of Mexicans building houses. But that's guess where they go buy it from? Home Depot, Lowe's. They gotta go buy it. If you want to chop wood down, you can't. Come on. Verse. Verse four. We have drunk it out money for money. Our wood for money. Three. And our wood is sold unto us. Come on. That's why you have That's why you have lack of God. That's why our, our women, that's why we are food, a food stamp. That's why we are hated everywhere. So watch this here. Why did that happen to us? Why did God allow that? Why did he allow this? Power. While Haram was pushed 
But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.